Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, probably about three weeks, but I felt like I don't need to do videos just to do videos. I'd rather, at least for doing updates, I'd rather do videos when I actually have stuff done. So as you can see, I have Altoona Works started. This is about 30 inches across, and I don't actually remember how long it is. It's, it's I want to say five feet. It actually, it's five or six feet, so it's got a good amount of length to it. This is a Diamond Scale Models turntable that I've had for a while. As you can see, this is how it's going to line up with the foam and then the homosote. And the track will line up right to the top. So anyways, I'll sh show you guys how this is going to work. This will kind of be a long update. So there's going to be a left-handed turn out here. And then there's going to be a Y here. I don't have a Y, but I... You know, made it out of paper. There's going to be a right-handed switch off this leg of the Y, and it's going to go back there to ignore this switch. It's going to go back here to a track here and a track on the front side of the coal tower. Um, I'll drop off coal cars on one side and have the steam engine get uh, fueled with coal or filled up with coal on the other. And then off this leg of the Y. There's going to be a left-handed switch off the straight part of that switch. It'll go right to the turntable. And then off the front part, it'll come to here, which I actually could have, I could have left everything laid out, but I've been, I, uh, when I was putting this, putting down the plywood, I took everything off. But, uh, here comes here. Oh, right, there'll be a left-handed turnout here as well. This track will come here, and then there will be a couple switches. Uh, two tracks will be for diesel refueling. And then a track along the front will be for the uh, tank cars that are full of diesel fuel. And so that's this set. Now, this switch, there will be, you know, th this turnout, there's two tracks coming off of it. These two tracks come along here. And one track will be for the mini scrapyard, and the other will be for uh, cars that are going to the Altoona Works building, uh, like a boxcar full of machine parts. Altoona Works building will be here. And then there will be three tracks off the front of Altoona Works to this turntable. There will be a crane kit here. And... That's about it for Altoona Works. So there'll be the uh, Altoona Works, which can store, which has three tracks. I can actually store a double uh, A unit on it or in it. Two tracks in front of it for Altoona Works related equipment, and then three tracks here for the diesel fueling facility, along with the track to hold the tank cars. Bunch of switches through here, turntable, three tracks go into the turntable, a track comes off the turntable here, and a switch here to go to the coaling tower. And uh, then I have the upper level to do still. The upper level will come out probably about right over here. Uh, at this height, it doesn't matter. There's nothing underneath here. Obviously, once you get to here, there's the Altoona Works. So the upper level will actually end around here. So that, that way, Altoona Works, the roof for it, isn't like an inch below this. Um, and now, I actually have gotten stuff done in Tyrone, if, you can rem if I can actually get there. If you remember, where that yardstick is, is where the tracks used to go. It used to go back there. One track would come here, you'd do the loop around, and you'd go back. Now, they both go along the back wall, which would be in a tunnel. And then, on the far side of the bridge, somewhere will be a double tunnel portal. So, you'll come out of the tunnel, and you go through the bridge... And you know, loop around through and go back. But I really like the way the, that bridge looks from here. I, I think that'll look neat. And then this 
a uh, little depot here. I, I just moved the track over to give me room to work with those two tracks. So I'll probably put it closer to the track, but that'll still be the Tyrone depot. And hopefully I'm not shaking this too much. There will be a road that cuts across here. It'll go down through here in front of the, um, I think the kit is called Golden Flame and Fuel. It'll go in front of there, go past the depot, and I'm thinking it's going to go in front of the bridge across the tracks and then into that little valley back there, which would be Sinking Valley. Uh, the bridge, I have to cut the homoso out. I got to cut the homoso out so I can put the bridge down about an inch obviously it's too tall right now and then there's going to be the juniata river through there um oh and then i was gonna i'm gonna put signals for now at the tunnel portal i'll put a signal at that tunnel portal and one there my old uh block signals the green and red ones until I get some PRR positional signals. But that's what I've been working on. So if you can see that little pit back there, that's where Sinking Valley will be. There's going to be a, a farm, a farmhouse from where my dad grew up. And then uh, the trains obviously will come across the bridge. The river will go from the wall underneath the bridge and around behind the mountain it'll just kind of go out of sight i don't really have anywhere to take it but if it goes out of sight it doesn't matter because eventually that pit will be filled in i mean i'll always be able to access it but i'll have a i'll have sinking valley on a the decent sized uh piece of foam kind of like a like a, a model itself just like a big piece of foam do all the scenery and the building and everything. That way I can just pop it out anytime I need to get back there to work on stuff. So Tyrone's coming along pretty well. And I don't think I have anything left that I got done. I haven't, I haven't done a whole lot, obviously. Well, I haven't done a whole lot besides the last week. I didn't do anything from my last video until I don't know a week ago so the next thing is I will be filling in this little triangle um, I gotta nail down the back I gotta take out this shelf and then I'm gonna put the coal mine up here and I also have to figure out this area because there's a switch here and if you can see that's going to be a crossover. And then there's going to be a switch off there that will go back here for... Uh, oh, what's it called? A flower and feed mill, or a flower and feed uh, distributor. A little, little mini scrapyard, and of course, since this is Crescent, it's going to have a bunch of refueling areas for the engines. And then the reason why I need this um, crossover, or it's, I don't know, it's not a crossover, it's a reversing loop. The reason why I need the reversing loop is because anytime you're doing a local, come up the back way, come up along the wall, come around, and you use the switch to switch, duh. <laughs> you use the switch to switch, that's common sense. All right, so you'll do your local switching, and then you'll take it back, and obviously you'll go along the back part of the wall, and you will hit this curved turnout and go down the middle to get back to Altoona, because obviously if you just do a loop around, first off, you, you can't switch that, and this front track does not tie in with Altoona Yard. So that's one reason I need a crossover. Another is for coal trains. So a coal train that is 
empty, tell me up, it'll come along the back wall, you'll hit the crossover, you'll come along the front here, you'll go around, and right there where that curve turnout is, you'll back your train, you'll back the coal train back into the coal mine. Um, I won't have enough room in the coal mine to be able to pull a train in and take the cars apart like that because I'd need a siding as long as this one, which as you can see is pretty long. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, I obviously I'm redoing Tyrone, so I have the bridge and the creek, and then I'm, get, I'm getting Altoona Works done with a track to the coaling tower, a track to the turntable, three tracks off that with a crane kit over that, and then to the Altoona Works, and a couple tracks for scrap and machine parts and things like that, and then couple tracks for refueling so that does it for this video uh, not sure when the next video will be because September 20th I think around there I'm having an operating session and if you do the math it's 17 days away so I still have a lot of work to do in the next 